An app that allows users to make anonymous posts is on the radar of Linwood University security. LUTV's Michelle Sprout is live in the studio to tell us how students use this app. The app is called Yik Yak. It allows users to make posts with others within a five mile radius. Lindenwood University Security keeps a close eye on these posts to prevent any issues on campus. Yik Yak was launched as an app for iOS and Android in 2013. Since then, it has made its mark on the campus of Lindenwood University. You can connect with other people anonymously and you can learn what's going on and you can keep up with all the campus info. Andrew Allen Smith is a media literacy professor in the Lindenwood University School of Communications. He thinks that Yik Yak could serve as a positive tool on university campuses in particular. Because of that five mile radius, it makes perfect sense for students to communicate with each other. But this communication is anonymous, which could result in false threats. I have heard about people on this campus creating false, uh, false reports of their cars being broken into or um, someone being mugged last year, I know, was something, and then it all ended up being fake. Threats like these force Lindenwood Security to monitor the app and ensure the safety of the campus. Any type of threat is going to be investigated uh, uh, towards the university or our students, we investigate those. Bowman sees the appeal that draws students to the app. I have Yik Yak myself, you know, that, that I can uh, monitor things that go around here. Uh, monitor things in my neighborhood, see what's going on. Professor Smith says that the idea that users being anonymous was to discuss news or ideas that they may be hesitant to share otherwise. It brings a lot of strange elements out where people know they're anonymous and they know that they're able to speak freely in that way. I'm one of those people, there's some things that I say that I wouldn't necessarily say if you could, if you know who I am. Head of security John Bowman also recommends to be cautious when posting on social media because once the post is out there, it's there to stay. For LUTV News, I'm Michelle Sprout.